hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series. I hope you've all been enjoying uh, the first episode so far. I've certainly been sweating from it <laughs> with all those losses. So um, yeah, just a quick recap. Um, after many, many scouting missions over the course of a couple of days around uh, the islands of Guadalcanal, um, our Kate torpedo bombers did manage to sink at least one uh, ship. Um, a heavy cruiser belonging to, of course, the American Navy. Um, so what we're going to do now is actually go back to the tactical map and try and pick up the pieces. So uh, I'll see you there. Okay, here we are. Um, first things first, we're going to make sure that Task Force 3, our supply ships, are actually stocked up. So we're going to manage cargo. We're going to put on some fuel on the tanker and we're going to put on some engineering on this one. Uh, what we're also going to do is of course set the course back down all the way here to what was it, the Shortland Islands. Uh, that will take them, that will take them 22.7 hours, so basically a day. Um, and we are going to use our new points to hopefully buy a submarine. Okay, so we're going to get the uh, normal Type B. Uh, there's no difference between the Type B and the uh, Mob 1. There's yeah, nothing to it, really. Okay, so let's go for that. Um, yep, brilliant stuff. Done with that. Let's go. Uh, we're going to go uh, set the course all the way down. It's going to scout on the outside of the island here down the south um, so that we can focus our main task force on the inside here. Um, our Kate... Um, these are the ones that did not fight, so we're going to return these ones straight away. Double check exactly uh, how many we have. Um, what did it tell us? It's got four there, brilliant. We have lost quite a, quite a few, so we really don't want to lose many now. Uh, this has been terrible engagements for us, mostly because of that first one where we lost so, so many because we did so badly. But this one should... Um, if we got it right, should be, we're going to make it patrol backwards and forwards here, should be right on top of um, the enemy task force, actually we're going to make it go down here. And we are going to double check that our um, recon planes can uh, launch, of course. We're going to bring it back down here just in case, we're going to bring over here, and of course back and back and back zigzag a bit. We're going to try and catch that uh, supply convoy again. Um, we're going to we usually need some time to uh, bring in its fighters and stuff before we can get the zeros up. Uh, we're losing this uh, fleet over here. We're going to bring it back over here just in case it's decided to be more uh, aggressive. Get that message out of the way. Yeah, okay, we're not having any luck here. We're going to launch some zeros off of here just to scout around. And they're going to scout just to start off with over here. And bring them all the way up here. That'll do for now. And get the sender, the Nagara rather, to uh, fire off its Jake again. And we're going to get it to support the uh, Kates over here, I think. Great stuff. All right, let's go. Yeah, the uh, Kate's are just going back over here just in case. Now is ready to fire off again. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. All right. Um, yeah, they're going to just make it a little more accurate there. Okay, so we are definitely going to lose planes here, but it should be worth it, shouldn't it? Let's go straight into that. Okay, so back in the uh, strategic map now, we're going to um, land these Kate's. Uh, it does say they have a torpedo, though. it's really strange. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so uh, we can't keep contact with that, we've lost vision over it for about an hour now, so that's okay. That's by the time we uh, found us again, we've been sighted by their... Uh, we'll, keep, we'll keep scouting with the zeros, actually. It'd be nice to have some eyes out here, wouldn't it? Okay, cool. Rather than shoot down those planes. So long as they don't have a carrier in operation. That one's following down here. I wonder if that's for the um, for the uh, supply convoy we saw earlier. 
we, in that case, I think we're actually going to try and retreat with this because we know exactly what's going to happen, don't we? They're going to find contact with that superior uh, fleet. Double check what's going on over here. They've not moved at all. That's okay. Wait for the next... Yeah, there we go. We can see it now. Okay, okay. Ryuzo is ready to launch aircraft. It should be ready with all of the cates available to us. Which is only 12, but that's okay. We'll launch all of them. Go straight over here, if you please. Yeah, okay. So they've ignored Guadalcanal. They're going straight for our task force here because they have spotted us. So we're going to pause here. I'm going to bring our cates just a little bit closer. And actually keep hold of that so that we can instantly press tactical go straight in there we go there we go off of their starboard now we'll just uh, make contact on the map excellent stuff okay so uh, we are going to hit I think the heavy cruiser that looks like uh, they're targeting us already it's almost as if they're in range what is the range there yeah okay we're very close in 4,000 meters I'm gonna get um, two squadrons to attack this one here. It's the Northampton, isn't it? We're just going to make sure we identify that properly. Um, with the... Yep, it's not Pensacola for sure. It's definitely Northampton. And we're going to identify this Perth as well, I think. So where are we? Um, yeah, it's definitely not because... Uh, uh, definitely not a county because it's only got the two smokestacks. Go for it. Okay, so um, attack group one can go for Northampton. Um, we're going to use the same tactic as always. Um, just because it is tried and tested, mostly, if we get it off right. <laughs> Alright, so because uh, we don't actually have a lot of room to manoeuvre here, we are going to circle round just a little bit. Come back round this way. Excellent stuff. Uh, number two, attack uh, Northampton again, please. Just zoom in there just to make sure we get it properly. And you're going to go down to the magic number of 40 metres above sea level. Go round again yourself, that'd be great. Go for that sort of angle, please. And you'll, you'll also go down to 40 as well. Get ready to attack, and you're going to attack the number four Perth, please. That's the wrong button. Okay, so don't need to circle round too much. We're going to go for that sort of space, I think. All right, I'll see you when we're in range. Alright, so I've uh, decided to pause here just because we might need to give some more orders. Uh, what has happened is that they have already started going into uh, evasive maneuvers, so I might actually um, change our attack patterns here. We're going to go um, northwards with this group, try and curve round for this Northampton. The Perth has also changed course, so we're going to uh, come back out and go back round here, I think see what happens there and with the number one group might try hmm so we're gonna pull back and see what we can do maybe a small hammer and anvil come around their port beam or on their starboard with this group see what happens here i'll get back to you in a second yeah okay that is certainly looking a lot better all right so what we're doing is we're going to come around with this group and bring them round a bit further, bring them out, come over here and this lot can go round to the Northampton already I think and the Cates over here can continue along their current path and go for the Perth down here, excellent stuff. Alrighty, um, if you guys can increase your speed and try and get them at a similar time, that would be great to uh, attack number two. But otherwise, I think this lot actually could attack now. Let's go for it. Okay, great, 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 great. Yeah, he's not turning too much at all. We're just gonna pause and get a better perspective on this group and see what's happening. It doesn't look like their target's going, uh, their speed is only 10 knots, so that's absolutely fine. Should be able to get that okay. Uh, we're going to watch this one drop, I think. Uh, actually, before we do that, we're going to tell this lot to attack as well while we can, before we forget. Alrighty. Let's zoom out a bit so we can get a better uh, retreat order in. Mm. Yeah, we've already dropped, so that's okay. We've lost one, that's okay. We've dropped. We're going to instantly tell them to get out just in a straight line. Increase your altitude by a lot, please, and maximum speed. 
Okay, how are you guys looking there? 2.2, they're 2.4, so this is what are close, we're going to watch them. And just in case, we're going to see if, yeah, okay, we're going to reduce our speed a little so that we don't bounce our torpedoes. And come on, he might just lose some speed when we, when we attack, but we've dropped our torpedoes off. So we are going to tell them to just get straight out of there again. Increase his uh, altitude and speed. Watching this lot. Taking uh, the weirdest attack pattern here, aren't they? Just tell them to cease and then go again, because we didn't actually tell them to attack. So let's go around. Excellent stuff. Oh, we got a dud. That's not the most common thing. That's one proper hit. Excellent stuff. Oh, I've lost another Kate. I'll take that. This lot have dropped. That's fine. Instantly get out again, please. Just go, 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 go. Up, 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 and away. Alright, so we're going to watch the Northampton as well. See that we miss. That's so unfortunate. We did get one proper hit though. Losing so many Kates. This is not good at all. This puts our Air Force basically out. It's only three hits as well on the Northampton. That is so sad. I hope we get a couple on uh, the Perth over here though. It doesn't look like it, does it? We might just skim one in. There we go. That's That's got to be two hits. Okay, alright. Feeling more comfortable now, though, um, about engaging this with our surface fleet. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. We've lost so many Kates. We can't risk using them again. We might actually see if we can get some vowels out from one of our um, island bases uh, before we engage them with our surface fleets, just to make sure. Uh, but our user is going to have to retreat now, I think, uh, just to make sure it's out of the combat area. Yeah, let's see what, what's happening here. We will uh, order a retreat and a quick action report. Yeah, so heavy damage to Perth and flooding and moderate damage to Northampton. Not ideal. I would have preferred heavy and heavy on both. But of course, uh, you can't have everything. But the heavy on the Perth isn't so bad. We'll have a look at that. That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to interrupt that there and just see <laughs> these two ships did actually collide, which is amazing. Um, unfortunately, it was at a very high speed, so I don't think it's caused quite a lot of damage, uh, or at least what we'd like to see. It's certainly not going to sink the Perth out right here, but uh, that's actually something else we need to uh, think about when we do engage these with our surface fleet. So I'm going to watch that and see what happens afterwards. I will see you in a second. Okay, so we're now telling our Kates, of course, to return to the Ryuja. <clears throat> to see if we can rearm, but we do not have many at all. There's five there, and it currently has, uh, yeah, it's only five at all that we have access to. So, what we're going to do is actually ask for some air units here, get some valves out just with the uh, standard payload, get them over here to uh, see if we can screen our task force over here. But we're going to retreat a little bit here and actually. Um, well, and hopefully not uh, run away if we do come into contact with the enemy fleet though. Um, unfortunately that Perth did not um, Perth did not go under as far as we know but hopefully it has had to return to base which would be amazing if it did. Um, we do have currently have our Jakes out. Uh, we're going to tell this one to return to base I think. This one uh, it can bring its course back over here to see if it gets some line of sight on anyone on its way. Otherwise, yeah, there we go, we can see this over here. I wonder if they're going to bombard it, actually. Or send in some... Uh, send in some troops. We are going to, however, bring our um, task force down. And just double check on... Yeah, okay, they're not coming out fast at all. That's the thing about subs, um, they do take ages to get out, but once they're out, they are a force to be reckoned with. Doesn't look like they've landed troops, um, which is quite lucky. So we're going to get our... Uh, do they have the range? Uh, they don't have the range to get over there, that is very, very sad. Hmm... Okay, well we are just going to have to engage them with our task force here. Not too happy about that, but uh, we'll see what happens, I suppose. We do need to get rid of them as soon as possible. It's going to be a tough battle. Yeah, I um, don't know why they just stopped there. They're going to have to return to base, so it's not good enough. Alright, let's keep going. A lot of hunting in this game. There we go, we found the merchant uh, ships again. So it's still two heavy cruisers. 
we did batter one of them earlier though, so we're going to um, hover over that, I think. Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, can we get it to go over this one? No, okay, it's only over friendlies. Alright, so we're going to get it a circle around here, I think. Just to make sure. We're also going to put some map note down, just in case, over here. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Just so we can see where that is. Gonna get some zeros out again. We're gonna ignore that, of course. Uh, gonna get, yeah, like I say, some zeros out. It looks like those are returning to heavy cruisers, but we did have three scouts. So we are going to bring these out down here again, just do a little uh, scouting mission over here. Excellent stuff. Yeah, Ryuja's ready. That's fine. Mm, okay, so they're coming northwards, looking like. Uh, they're getting ready to go to uh, Guadalcanal. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to follow them further up. Might launch the rest of our Kates. Maybe just to destroy one heavy cruiser. Certainly going to bring our uh, surface fleet back to Guadalcanal. And we are going to double check that we are in range to uh, unload all of our cargo here. Yep, that's all done. Excellent stuff. So, what do we need now? We just need some supplies, by the looks of it. Yeah, we absolutely have what we need there. So, um, actually, do we? Hmm, it's interesting. No, we don't. Okay, so we need 50 fuel, 50 engineering, which is rather annoying. Um, okay, interesting. It may take longer than uh, expected then, which is, yeah, like I say, annoying. Needed an extra transport ship, really. Alrighty, so it is now time for some silent hunting action. Our plan here is to sink at least one uh, heavy cruiser. If we do that, we will um, consider this next fight a success. So let's get in there. Alrighty, so we're going to turn. Our radar can't be on, but that's fine. It's only an air radar anyway. Righty, so we can see them over there, just to our stern, all right, see. So we're gonna go uh, with our periscope up, otherwise we'll never actually identify them. There we go, look at that, that is juicy. All right, see, okay, so what we want to do, just going to double check actually um, how the formation is. Brilliant. So this is on the outside here. This was the uh, Northampton, wasn't it? Brilliant stuff. Okay, there's a New Orleans over here as well. Great stuff. Actually, this is not Northampton. It's, um, what should we call it? I've forgotten the uh, name of this one. I keep forgetting the names of uh, this particular heavy cruiser class. It is Portland. See, because of the outstretched uh, command bridge there. So we're going to get our um, I-15 to uh, navigate around over here a little bit. Yeah, just a little turn, I think, just so we can get in face on. Uh, we don't need to be particularly wary of sonar at the moment because we're out of range. We're four and a half kilometers away. Um, so we're going to increase our speed a bit and I'll see you when we are targeting them. Yep, up in periscope. Great stuff. So our firing solution is going to be at this particular Portland over here. And we are going to fire a spread of four torpedoes at a two degree spread so we don't miss too much, <laughs> hopefully. Our firing solution is currently drifting between 78 and 80%. I think that is acceptable. So we are going to fire. Look at that there. Alright, so after um, what looked like a rather dodgy launch, we have got three successful hits on the uh, Portland over here, which might, if we're lucky, be enough to sink her. But we now have the 
to hunt our submarine, but that's absolutely fine. If we go to our sub, we are well away from them. We're actually going to uh, go to silent now, so they definitely don't, or really shouldn't hear us. We're going to go try and get a damage report on here, because we can see there's uh, clearly some internal fires, a fairly good lists on here. Yeah, it's heavy and heavy, so it might not actually sink. I prefer critical. But at the same time, we should now be far more, again, far more comfortable in actually engaging this with our surface fleet. Okay, so we unfortunately have not managed to actually sink the Portland over here. It is still only on heavy and heavy uh, damage and flooding. But that is absolutely fine. We're going to get rid of this map note now. Because we do not need that clearly uh, in range, but that means we won't have contact with that fleet for another hour or so. That's probably just enough time for them to get in range of our Task Force 2 here. We're going to bring our submarine back out around here, get it to patrol uh, the south of Guadalcanal. And transport fleet is... Okay, so the next engagement will very likely be a surface engagement at night as well, because we can't launch any uh, aircraft now, which is rather a shame. Um, just yeah, we can't get a piece up at all. So I think what we're going to do is actually get our J curve to provide cover over here. So in case we do have a surface engagement, we'll at least have one plane up um, just to cover us. We're going to tell it to actually uh, escort and follow Task Force Two here. There we go so that we get better vision at night. Yeah, and here we go. We've made contact with our service fleet and their supplies over here. So, wish me luck. <laughs> Alrighty, so a fairly quiet start to what would be a rather action-packed night. We're going to use our binoculars to scout around very quickly to see if we can find any uh, we do know from the strategic map that they were quite a way off, so they might be towards the border of the map. Um, so what we're going to do is actually switch to um, the Jake that we launched. Zoom out of the map. We can see shells landing actually. That is not a good sign. That means they can see us already. We've not made contact with them at all. So we're going to tell our Jake to go out around here and we're going to try and look for some shell flashes. Muzzle flashes rather. Yeah, we can see something off over in the distance there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what's the bearing over there? About, um, okay, about 315-ish. So what we're gonna do is get the Takao to fire with its main batteries, some star shells, I think. Uh, we're going to manually fire them at, uh, let's see if we can get the bearing right. Uh, will this tell us? No, okay. Uh, we'll pause it and see what happens. Uh, bearing, 315 hopefully is that going to tell us nope okay great <laughs> just make a guess uh, looks fairly decent yeah they're firing uh, star shells at us we're going to go to top speed yeah we're having new contact excellent stuff okay brilliant we're going to get yep yeah, alright that's the New Orleans there brilliant stuff we're going to get uh, again like I say uh, to cow what is the range on that so that's just inside, okay, brilliant stuff. Um, yeah, Takao can fire some star shells at that, that's fine. Gonna turn off Magnifier, we're going to full spread star shells over there with that. All right, so we're going to tell everyone, I think, to fire at that. We do need to, of course, um, identify it to get a better solution. Uh, it's not a Baltimore, it is New Orleans. There we go. Got past it. Cool. Uh, we're going to get. Um, didn't start one with Fubuki, did we? So we're going to get to full spot fire. Um, Shiryuki again, full HG, full spot fire. No target selected, you fool. You do this all the time. Great stuff. And the uh, Nagara can do the same, can't you, mate? Yeah, not going to do the most damage with that. We are going to be relying on the Takao to take on the uh, heavy cruisers there. But luckily, um, the Portland's still listing rather a lot there. <laughs> so that shouldn't take too long once we get a um, 
bearing on that. So we're going to get the Takao's um, secondaries to fire as well. So let's go. Let's get some more star shells over there, shall we? Yeah, we'll get the Jake to uh, just circle over, I think. So we don't lose contact, it gets a slightly better uh, bearing on them. Okay, cool. What have we got then? Uh, it's a rather interesting destroyer type. Okay, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what this is. This might be a Benson, maybe? Should we have a look? Uh, where's DD's? Alright, so what's these smokes? So a single stack. It's not a Benson. This one looks like a Benham. Okay, interesting. Alright, so we've got some star shells over them. We'll just fire off a few more from Takao. Double check it's fire. Okay, so the uh, solution is actually getting to 50 now. So we're going to change um, to a, I think, a narrow spread and I guess on off spot. Just try and fire what we can now to get some uh, real shots in. And yeah, 42 on there, 38 on there. Okay, let's just go. You can see these suppliers uh, running away, not a problem. If we win this, then surely they'll uh, get deterred. So what we're going to do is get the Fubuki to lead, and of course we're going to tell people to make sure we are still in formation. We're going to get them circular, and we are going to tell them to bring a course up round here. Just so we can get full broadsides on them. We are sort of crossing their T over here, which is great. Doesn't look like we're getting any hits just yet. There's <coughs> <laughs> a sudden uh, dramatic change in music there, isn't it, eh? Alright, see. Um yeah, we're just straddling him just a little bit. This is the most major threat at the moment. The Americans will, of course, have surface radar. Our solution has gone up on the Fubuki, so we're going to increase the narrowness of the spread there. Uh, we're going to do the same with the secondaries on top. We're going to start thinking about firing off torpedoes soon as well, because uh, the enemy's at a decent formation for that. In fact... The solution's at 42, isn't it? I'd rather at least 50 for torpedoes. Yeah, it's going down again. Mm. Might increase the spacing in a minute, just so we can fire off torpedoes from Takao, because his solution's actually not too bad. Okay. Oh, we're straddling there, we're getting closer, we're getting closer, we're not getting any hits though. Just going to double check with ours that we're not getting, uh, taking any damage so far. Damage control system's looking good. Get on back on orders. Ah, oh, the decals are not looking great either. So we're going to fire off some more star shells, I think, from the, um, we're going to fire a full spread from that. Does that really help us? Okay, uh, Fubuki, how are you looking for your solution? Not great, okay. I think what we're going to do is, even though we don't have a great solution over here, we are actually going to try and build up a solution on the uh, destroyers over here. We're just going to try and identify it so it gets a better one. Uh, and that will be a, that was a Benham, wasn't it? Yeah, it's definitely a Benham, look at that. Okay, cool. So if we do that, we get um, some torpedoes ready. We're going to fire as many as we can with a, I think, a four degree spread off some HE shells, I think, yeah, and spots at full spread with that, just to get a uh, solution up on there. Uh, oh, we're getting a couple light hits in there, okay. I wouldn't mind flooding them with star shells a little bit more. It would appear that um, Portland's not actually firing, so maybe we cause some sort of magazine damage on them. 
No, they are firing. Completely <laughs> proved wrong. <laughs> Ooh, that is a brilliant. Um, oh, that's a brilliant solution there with the uh, Takao. Excellent stuff. It does look like we're going to collide with the Fubuki if we carry on like this, though. So I'm going to move that in a second. I'm going to fire some HE uh, off with the secondaries, actually. This is looking much better as well. So I think we might actually fire some torpedoes with the. Um, with the Fubuki here, I think what we're going to do is actually do the same sort of solution here. You see, so we don't know if we're going to get any, any better. So we're going to fire off like that. As uh, the cow looks like he's sorting out his collision there, so that's fine. You can see the torpedoes aiming, and they have fired, which is great. Okay, cool. Uh, we are going to just make sure everyone forms up again, actually. Uh, because I do not like the look of this. I'm going to form up circular. I think we're actually going to increase the distance between us a little bit. It's 750. That will be rather wide, but uh, we're going to have to look out for their own torpedoes. So form up like that. Uh, what is Fubuki's solution looking like? Okay, that is brilliant. We are definitely going to launch our torpedoes now. Do that. Uh, fire, narrow spread at HE as well. That would be great. Double check everyone else's solutions. Oh, this is looking so, so good. So, so good so far. This is where we want to be. Won't be getting much higher um, artillery solutions with the Japanese, unfortunately. So we're going to just double check on this uh, New Orleans. We're getting some decent hits on, apparently, with this uh, Benham. It's getting a light fire on there. We are going to have to be careful with our own Fubuki. So what we're going to do, actually, is change our speed a little to try and throw them off. Just double checking, the map's throwing me off. We've taken a light hiss on the Nagara here. Should we double check our fire? Yeah, just a single fire on the stern there. This is on the rudder, so we are going to have some troubles later on. Uh, we're going to fire off some more star shells from here. That's a full spread against the Orleans. You can see the fire from over there. We've hit, hit their funnel, uh, rather hit their deck maybe, or their guns. Torpedoes aren't looking too bad so far, are they? As long as they don't do a dramatic course change, we should be okay, but it does look like they're doing that with the uh, destroyers over here. Oh, are we getting some fair hits in though? We're getting some fair hits in. Just going to double check our own um, stuff over here. So we've taken this light hit on the bow here of the Takao. Okay, that's a problem. Fubuki's doing fine. Shiryuki's taking on flooding. Okay, that's a small problem. We might be able to get on top of that though, if that's the only thing so far. Alright, so um, I think what we're going to do is actually uh, double check what we're going, what's going on up here. It looks like they're laying smoke, so we are going to um, get severely reduced uh, firing solutions here. So let's just carry on. Um, Fubuki can fire some star shells, I think, and Takao can hold fire with his own. Uh, we're going to actually change to HE and spot so we can get a better solution. We're going to hold fire, I think, with the AP. Um, and she, yeah, like I said, Shiryuki is uh, unfortunately going to do uh, full and spots with this, and the same with the Nagara, which is very unfortunate. And we are actually going to change course ourselves, I think. Uh, stop pausing quite so much. Um, I think we are going to turn off around here and then come back around, circle up, zigzag a bit just to get their firing solutions off a bit. We're going to increase our speed again to maximum speed. Uh, that's the thing about the um, Japanese uh, ships, they do have fairly high speeds on their ships. We're going to have a quick uh, look at the damage report. So take a minor on the Shiryuki, which we're aware of. Being so great with moderate damage. And moderate damage to the New Orleans as well, actually, which is some decent progress when we started. Uh, unfortunately, the torpedoes aren't looking great, although the Portland might actually go into one of them. We'll see. So, uh, we are going to go back to the firing solution of the Takao and make sure it's firing again because we have actually built up another decent solution here. We're going to keep on like this um, with the uh, secondaries, uh, change to a narrow spot just to keep that building up. How's everyone else looking? Yeah, okay, I think we're going to change everyone else to narrow as well. This one's still not got a solution at all, which is terrible. <laughs> we're going to put it on uh, HE now, though, because we've fired enough star shells, I think. We are going to start running low on those. 
Uh, Nagara's not looking great either, but we're going to put it now now the spread a little more as well. So you can see um, the smoke over there is not looking great, but we will save ours, I think. Our oh, Jake's going straight over them. May lose it if we don't do anything about that. So what we're going to do is actually bring it out round, uh, negate that, and bring it out round again, just slightly out of range. But our ships are actually closer than that now. Okay, so uh, we can see the New Orleans is actually retreating. Uh, that's the other one. So that's not a problem. So its guns won't be able to face us. So I think what we actually want to do is, it doesn't look like, I think it's just because of the spacing, but it doesn't look like they're in formation here. Not a problem. So what we're gonna do is actually change the targeting solution of the Takao and get both of its firing direct directors onto the Portland over here and identify that properly. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There, yeah, it's rather worrying. Okay, cool. The torpedoes aren't looking too bad though. Might, might, might take one. That's okay, I'll take that. This one's very nearly down, isn't it? Okay, so what we're gonna do is, um, do we have, we have star shells above them, that should be fine. So we're gonna do, um, hold fire with our main guns, which will be on AP. Um, we're going to do HE full spot on the Portland there. The Nagara, how are you looking? Okay, so um, we want that one to actually fire as well on the Portland, which would be great. Thank you very much. Excellent stuff. Uh, Fubuki, how are you doing? Um, could you please stop firing on Benham and actually go for this over here? We're going to properly identify this one as well. Can't remember I said it was, so we're going to go back. It looked like a gridley, didn't it? Should you go over and have a look at that? Mm, yeah, that's a gridley. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so how many star shells are around this sort of way? None. All right, so we're going to actually look at firing a few off, a few of those off first. Just a couple, nothing too much. Um, Shiryuki, how are you looking? It's taking more floods. Uh, that's not great. That's not great. Might guess it to uh, actually just help against this over here. Yeah, if you go for Gridley again, HE full spot. You are actually going to fire it. Yeah, it's you fool. Fire at this one, please. Thank you. Right, so we've lost contact uh, with a few um, supply ships, but that's okay. Um, if we can take on this fleet, uh, get uh, at least one sunk, that'd be great. I'm looking at uh, maybe the Gridley and the Portland at the moment. That'd be brilliant. So we're going to get the um, American guns um, are actually a bit better than ours going to bring it out over here I think yeah there we go uh, the torpedoes aren't looking great over here now are they but we are getting rather close with our guns by the looks of it we're going to start firing with these again we're going to stop with the spotting fire and just go for a full spread here and look over see what happens so our torpedoes are getting close. We're going to double check the firing solution of the secondaries and the main battery guns of the Takao here. We want to narrow the spread. We're going to watch over just in case the torpedoes do hit actually because we can see the streams there. That is rather unfortunate. We might get one of these over here. He's slowing down for some really bad evasive maneuvers. We might get, there we go. That's what we want to see. That might actually do it. Certainly going to take another one here. So I think actually uh, we're going to get ahead of ourselves a bit, uh, or oh, the Shiryuki's not looking great at all, um, it's taking on major damage to torpedoes, funnels, there's a flood here, I'm going to change up the, um, the uh, damage control parties, put them on the floods and the fires, because that's what we need to sort out first, uh, might actually tell this one to disengage if we can, um, yeah that sounds like a good idea doesn't it? Okay, so what we're going to do, yeah, we're going to tell this one to actually break formation. Come on, mate. Make your own. There we go. Uh, do that full speed. Just get out of there. Um, so I think with that, we're going to tell the Takao and the Nagara to form up in a line formation, line ahead, and we're going to put them at 500 form up. And then they are going to go around and s uh, actually slow down let the Shiryuki go and that will uh, sway the um, enemy solutions off a bit. The Fubuki can go back round, it can come round here. So 
down and just circle the gridly, I think. We're going to turn its um, firing solution to narrow as well. Double check the Nagaras as well. Uh, oh, so 10 solution, that is terrible. So we need to get it on full and spot again. What's it firing at the Portland? Okay, so we're going to change that actually to um, the New Orleans again because the Portland's got to flood down now. Tell it to fire. We're going to do the same with the Takao actually. That's what we're going, coming over here for. So Portland, okay. Um, if you hold your main guns and actually fire a full spotting with your secondaries, please. That would be great. Yeah, look at that. So moving on just a few seconds, it might be that the New Orleans even takes a torpedo, but it would have to speed up here. That would be very lucky. I would love as if it took even just one torpedo. The Portland is sinking as well. That is brilliant. Those are some guns out of action. Torpedoes. Oh my god, that is brilliant. Please, yes. <laughs> you absolute lad. Please take one. Oh, he's going rather fast though. Might, might not. Oh no, please, please. Oh, that is, oh, that is a very successful torpedo attack. Weren't even aimed, or I think we were aimed for that originally, but the the course he's taken. So he's got like a couple fires on him. He's gonna list, start listing soon. That is brilliant. Let's check our firing solutions. Not great. Okay, so what we're gonna do is get a full spot with our main batteries as well. Nagara, oh my god, he's terrible, isn't he? He just can't get anything up. Not great at all. I think actually what we're going to do is just fire some more star shells out. This one doesn't have star shells. I'm being stupid. So, where is Shiryuki? Yeah, we were getting this one out, weren't we? Okay, not a problem. Um, we did fire torpedoes, so we can't fire any more at the... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so the range of torpedoes um, is actually uh, 15,000, well, 15 kilometers. And we're certainly within that when we fired them, weren't we? I'm pretty sure that is amazing. Okay, cool. They should just have the range to uh, clip one or two of these if they carry on like that. How's Fubuki doing? Get these on awesome massive now. Because uh, we might have uh, changed the solution there. Fire some AP, not some G. That'd be great. What number eight was over here? Then that is brilliant stuff. Don't know how we know that without uh, getting any contact on them. That's okay. We'll take that. But yeah, this uh, this gridley's done for now. Okay, brilliant. Uh, we're going to look at another damage report. So we've got critical damage and flooding on New Orleans and critical damage and heavy flooding on the Gridley. It's tempting to leave the New Orleans for dead and just focus on um, the transport ships. How's he going? Do you reckon he's... is he still firing? Because if he's dead like that, we don't need to keep bothering, do we? Yeah, it looks like his magazine's off. He's not firing. Great stuff, great stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually leave him for dead. Okay, so at the end of that, uh, we're looking rather decent actually. Um, even though the um, Shiryuki took um, some fair fires, um, it's actually come up with minor damage and the Nagara's taken more. Of course, we did lose um, a gun tower, so we've got uh, some permanent flooding on the uh, bows, I believe. But you know what? All in all, decent. We've sunk two um, supply ships, which is brilliant. I mean, less uh, landing on Guadalcanal. And of course, we now have free, well, uh, not entirely free reign. We do have that second uh, um, task force to worry about. But um, we've also sunk a destroyer, the Gridley. 
sunk both heavy cruisers, the New Orleans and the Portland, which is excellent stuff. We'll check exactly which ships those are in a second. But not so of shipping in just that battle but even more importantly we secured 21 command points and we'll look at investing that into some ships in the near future which is excellent stuff we might actually uh, spend that on some more supply ships just so we can um, build up uh, the Shortland Islands quicker which I think actually would not be a bad idea so uh, what we're going to do actually is um, double check what we have over here I don't have any engineering or fuel, which is a shame. Because we read that just that 50. It means we might not be able to get it within this week, which is very sad. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually, um, I think, hmm, I really want to rearm because we lost a lot of torpedoes in that battle. That's what we're going to be relying on. It's very sad. We can't launch aircraft because it's. Uh, seven in the evening but i think actually that is going to do for one episode um it's been rather long it's a fairly uh, long-winded uh, fight but successful so um yeah thank you very much for watching um please leave your feedback in the comments i'd be very much appreciated let me know uh, what you like to uh, see in these episodes um and yeah in the meantime i've been the edify gamer and thank you for watching goodbye